Dolly Parton, 77, shot down any current or future notions that she may be involved with keto or CBD products and brands. Some companies have utilized the singer's fame and figure to promote their items, but Dolly assured her fans that she is not the type. Yesterday evening, Dolly took to Twitter to clear the air as scams using fake celebrity endorsements become more and more prevalent. The post declared once and for all, Dolly Parton is not affiliated with, has not endorsed and is not associated with any keto or CBD gummy product. She's more the cake, cookie and cornbread type. The post, signed by Team Dolly, garnered hundreds of comments within hours mostly praising the star for speaking out against the scams. A fan shared their own thoughts in the comments, writing, I'm so glad this is finally being posted. There are so many shysters out there using Dolly's good, trustworthy name to deceive folks. Shameful. Thank you for posting this. I hope everyone forwards it so that it reaches as many as possible. Others took the opportunity to slam the company's misusing Dolly's image, as one fan joked, I bet Jolene was keto. Countless others applauded the singer's integrity speaking out against the false promotions. According to the Metro, this clarification was prompted by Facebook adverts that were reportedly circulating. The adverts claimed Dolly was endorsing some CBD gummies that claimed to reverse dementia. The sudden revelations come just days after actress Sarah Michelle Gellar revealed that Dolly was an uncredited producer on the hit show Buffy the Vampire's Lair. Don't miss, on Tuesday evening, the Buffy star appeared on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon to promote her new series Wolf Pack. The actress shared the little-known fact that the songstress was involved in the cult classic show, although Sarah noted she never actually saw her while filming. She shared, we'd get Christmas presents in the beginning that would have her name and I would think, she doesn't know who I am. And then one day somebody asked her about it, and she complimented the show and my performance. I was like, Oh I can die now. Dolly Parton knows who I am and thinks I'm good. Sarah went on to note that Dolly was a silent producer while her business partner Sandy Gallen was a bit more outspoken on the show. Dolly and Sandy founded their own production company, Sand Dollar Entertainment, in 1986, almost a full decade before they worked on the Buffy the Vampire Slayer film in 1992. While the film was somewhat unsuccessful at the box office, the production company later revamped the premise as a television series which became a sensational hit and now an iconic piece of pop culture.